Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Aisha of World Reviews. And I have a Fat Fit Fun box to share with you. Now, um, I was a member and then I wasn't for several, a couple of years. And it was a box that I missed. And I am slowly, I don't th I think slowly might not be the best word, but I've just really been reintroducing myself to a lot of old favorites and introducing myself to some new favorite boxes. So when I have the time, I'm gonna pop on here at random and share those boxes with you. Um, Fat Fun, if you're not familiar, is a quarterly um, kind of lifestyle. It, it has a little bit of everything, a little something for your house, your skin, your hair, you know, fitness, wellness type things. So they cover a wide spectrum of products but they also have like these flash sales and mystery boxes and things like this this is the quarterly box spring of 2024 at the time of recording that i'm fixing to share with you i did purchase add-ons two items from out of the shop that was available at the time of selection and then um, a couple of items were in my choice categories I am a season to season and not an annual, meaning I didn't pay $219 or some change for the full annual subscription, though I'm highly considering doing so. I pay quarter to quarter. So I only get, I'm only, or members are only allowed to select four items and then two are picked for you based on kind of your profile and what you would do when you create your account. I'll put my link in the description box below a little bit more details that I can find from this site that summarize what Facet Fun is um, so that we can just jump right into what the heck did I get into. Um, the reason why I bought up the flash sales is also that I have two more boxes coming because someone needs to stay off the app. Stay off the app roll because you're getting into everything. At the same time, my time is kind of limited. So me going over to Marshalls and Ross and TJ Maxx, which are still good stores and home goods, is a lot uh, less frequent for me. And I am trying to get certain items that I've been actually finding through Ipsy and FabFitFun shops. So be on the lookout because I will, I will uh, post an updated video with some of the things I bought from the store. And I have one item to show you, so we can just, this, I got this. This came in separate, um, it was shipped separate, and I just took the uh, tags off, but this is a, I think, my tag along, um, and this is a hair tools um, traveling kit. And so, I think it's long enough, I just looked at the Dyson, um, and sharp dryer yesterday at Costco's because I'm considering getting one or the other and this is long enough that it could hold that some flat iron tools brush and etc so this is one of the items that I bought during one of those flash sales I just want to tell you and it does have a disclaimer I must be wasn't paying attention but if you load your cart they will just charge you. So if you're throwing some things in there and you're saying, oh, I'm gonna think about it. If you're not sure, take it, take it out because when that sale closes, they will charge a card. I was like, ooh, whoa, what is happening? This is in the box. Everybody is just dumped in there. Um, the swell water bottle and such did come with the plastic uh, wrapper, but I kindly removed it. Speaking of Swell, this is their 25 ounce water bottle. I have one already from one of my other subscription boxes some years ago, but I don't have all pink. And pink is my favorite color. So I thought this was super, um, this is functional. It's a functional piece of item and it's slender enough that it should fit in most cup holders. I do find that whatever water, and I actually have an ice tray that has slender, like cylinder-like um, shapes. So this wide mouth, the, the width of this, it will be, those ice cubes can just drop right down in there. So if you don't have one, I would suggest grabbing one. I got mine from Aldi, 
But anyways, the Swell water bottle. Of course, like so many other YouTubers, but for my own self, for my own reasons, I did go with the, the pear in the selections. And this is the salad kit. I do take like a chia seed pudding or uh, like a cottage cheese with some fruit and a couple of nuts and things. So I do, I have most certainly been trying to take my own lunch a lot more, even though we do have a cafeteria at my place of employment. Um, so I thought this was another thing, road trips, campers, um, moving, cross country, anything where you might need to transport your food, I thought this was a good thing to have. Um, this is still in its pack, you know, wrapper, but there's a little like indentation here where this will sit and it's magnetic. So it'll kind of hold it in place and it's stainless steel in the bottom as well. And this is to put whatever dip sauces or like I just said, like I use, I have a variety of nuts, but let's say a little pistachio nuts and some walnuts or something like that. They could store separate and not get soggy or whatever. And then this is the bowl in the inside. I think this is a, a one, two step. I mean, chicken, vegetables, what have you on the top. Bottom could be your quinoa, rice, noodles, or etc. This could be your drizzle sauce. Toss it together. I'm bada bam, bada boom. You're in now. You know what I mean? I hope you do. So I thought this was a great kit. I don't know. I'm looking at the Cal Pack. Um, lunchbox. If anybody happens to come across my video, you have it with this, with this fit, or is that too big? And also speaking of swell, before I move on to the next product, they have meal prep containers that would be perfect for yogurts or um, chia seed puddings and things like that. That I'm considering purchasing on Amazon. I'll link it in the description box below because it's just sitting in my car, beckoning me to make a decision. The, this is an item that Fat Fit Fun chose for me. I like Living Proof. I've used it before, different types of products within the line, and they all seem to work for me. So this was a good choice that they made. This is a 1.98 milliliter and four ounce uh, dry shampoo. It does leave a trace, so when I sprayed it, Yesterday, just testing it out, I really had to go in, not with this unit, but another one, and just a lot. And I still, when I took it off, I saw a little bit of mm, casting, white casting on the hair. So I'm like, mm, suspicious. Next thing here is some Tula. Um, and I, I picked this. Tula Skin Care 24 7 Moisture Intense Ultra Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I meant to use it last night, and your girl was tired and just went on and went to sleep. This is what it looks like out of the packaging. And so I'll be using it tonight when I, re when I do my skincare. I like Tula, Tula works. You know, is it like, um, I don't want to butcher no names tonight, so I might just run that name right on across the screen here, or like um, another brand I'm thinking of. That Lacoste, you see? This is why I've been recording. Um, but, anywho, I like Tula. It's in a mid-range price point, so if you don't want to go full on luxury, but you want something a little bit higher than a drugstore, though they're in Ulta, um, I would recommend that brand. This is something that I got from the flash sale. And where's the other guy? I'm just filling around for it, you guys. All up in the camera, pardon me. Um, so I went with IGK. As I had an incident, I think I'm gonna cover my hair journey, my like my real, real hair on here, why not, you know what I mean? Because I had it, there was an incident and I lost a lot of my real hair. So I'm trying to heal my hair and regrow it and so forth. And I've been purchasing a great deal of different uh, 
shampoos, conditioners, gels, and things like that. IG, IGK Payday Instant Repair Shampoo, Clinical Breakage Protection, 11 times softer strands. So it's just a repairing shampoo and it's a conditioner. These were two separate purchases, but would be able to work together. Um, I want to say they were $11.99 each. I'm not really sure. Whatever it is, it's cheaper than if I would have bought it. You know, direct purchase from the company. And I got the conditioner. Moving right along. Next item is the O'Shea or O.C. Um, Ocean Cleanser. I'll try to go back and re-look at kind of what I did. Because you get one choice per category. However, for an additional fee, you can um, add another item. And in two categories, that's exactly what I did. It was two different, two things I wanted from that category. And so I paid the, uh, I just don't know the amount, guys. I'm sorry. It's 15 or so dollars. Someone else out there may know right off the top of the head. Whatever it is, I thought it was reasonable. And this is what it looks like out of the packaging. I'm sorry, I'm jumping a little bit here and there because I'm trying to give you information and not just assume you know what the platform um, looks like or the how it operates. And so I'm just throwing in other information at the same time as showing you the product. But um, I'm looking forward to using this. I have two products from them. One is like an oil, one is like a serum. And they're, they're okay, they're not bad. And so I'm interested to see how the cleanser will work. I think it's like two things left in the box and then we can be already 5,000 at this video, y'all. Reading is so crucial. Your girl thought this was olive oil. I thought it was olive I, I, I thought it was like cooking olive oil. So I'm thinking, oh, that matches with the, the uh, salad thing and we're just gonna drizzle, ooh. This is not, it is olive oil base. It's one of the main ingredients, but this is a shower gel. Shower gel. And this is 8.45 fluid ounces. And then I didn't specify on this cleanser, but this is a hefty amount. This is five fluid ounces. So this is shower gel. I have never heard of the brand before. Oh, yes, the heck I have. This is Corez. I just, I'm not familiar with their pure Greek olive line, but I have had their lotions before in the past and they were moisturizing. They did what they came to do. You know what I mean? I was pleased and satisfied. This is something that I chose for myself as well. And I chose this too. And I chose this. This is the Alo or Alo uh, Glow System. This is their Magnesium Reset Spray. Magnesium, Amela, um, Valerian, and another A-R-N-I-C-A, Aromatherapy Soothing Mist for the Mind and the Body. Now, I watched Catherine's video, um, and she sprayed a little bit in her hand, and she said it did have that sticky feeling. And see, I have a magnesium spray from Thrive Market, it's not a Thrive Market brand, but it was a brand sold on Thrive Market. And that's the one thing I don't like. And I'll spray it like maybe at the bottom of my feet or on my ankles or on my legs. And let it kind of settle in for five or so minutes. And then I go in with the washcloth and kind of wipe that area wherever I sprayed it right back down. Because I can't stand that icky, sticky, tacky feeling. So let's see here. You, you turn like that to lock and unlock. Ooh, that's, that's a, a hefty spray. Okay, so it absorbs really fast. And what I would say is this feeling I can live with without, I don't think I would need to wipe anything off. It actually has almost like a baby powder soft, uh, feel to the touch. And that is my, let me make sure, spring 2024 Fat Fit Fun. They send some little, like, every, 
Everybody wants you. Everybody want to um, solicit you for HelloFresh. I'm already a member, and I get a box from them later this month. And then this is just some stuff talking about Fafit for itself. So I think in all, this was under a hundred dollars. Um, Cause I signed up with Samantha's code, the pink envelope again. I haven't been a member since 2018, 2018 or 2019. So it's been a minute. Um, and uh, they welcomed me back with warm arms. And I feel like that was like $49. The, the two shampoos were maybe 20, 25 or 26. And then the two add ons. So I don't, I, whatever it is when they, you all pull it all in together, this was under a hundred dollars and none of this stuff could have been purchased independently for one hundred dollars so um i think i got my that my money back i got some stuff to try and i might come back with a like product review because i used to do that and then i stopped so i like talking about yeah this worked mm, no it didn't this is for you this might not be for you type thing I'm going to hop my talking self out of this video so I can come back and show you guys two Allure boxes because I need to start putting stuff away and I've been holding them kind of uh, together because I wanted to actually do a video. So we're going to hop up out of this video and go right on in and start recording the uh, February and March Allure Beauty Box. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, come again, and peace.